relaxing. It says nine people, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, and X live in nine different floors of a building, not necessarily in the same order. The lowermost floor is numbered one, the one above that is number two, and so on till the topmost floor is numbered nine. Yeah, so I think one to nine are the floors and uh, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, and X are the nine persons. What's interesting is that each one of them likes different foods among Maggie, uh, sandwich, poha, burger, pizza, idli, dosa, rice, and samosa. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 items. Yeah, 9 items. So, 9 items, 9 food items, 9 persons, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, and X, and 9 floors. So, 1, 2, 9. And you've got to do the arrangement. And there are like a lot of hints given here. So, what we would do as usual is convert these statements into pictorial forms. So, that it's easy to comprehend. And then fit it in the order right so so let me list down the floors first one two three four five six seven eight nine i'm not sure if we can try more than two possibilities not more than two in my view right we can we can try it only two possibilities so so let's see let's see two or three we will try so let's first convert these statements english statements into pictorial representations yeah uh, so what is the first point is only three people live between s and the one who likes idli so three people between s and idli yeah uh, again we don't know about the order right is s above idli or idli above s is not known to us yeah hmm? so we'll do one thing s dash 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 idli and the sequence can be interchanged right three people between s and idli uh it can be it can be interchanged right s and idli can interchange their positions r lives on one of the odd numbered floors above the one who likes idli Achha, r lives on one of the odd numbered floors r lives on one of the odd numbered floors above the one who likes idli so r should come above idli and on an odd numbered floor yeah so if r has to come above idli see what are the possibilities odd numbered floors odd numbered floors are one three five seven nine yeah but r has to come above idli right he has to come above the one who likes idli so clearly r cannot be on first floor because if r is on first floor idli would be coming on a floor below first floor which is which does not exist r can be on third floor can be on fifth floor can be on seventh floor or can be on ninth floor yeah possible so three five seven nine are the possibilities for r and remember r would come above idli u lives on an odd numbered floor above the floor number four okay this is interesting u lives on an odd numbered floor about the floor number four so what are the possibilities see odd number floors again are one three five seven nine but it has to be above floor number four so one and three are ruled out so you can either be on fifth floor or seventh floor or ninth floor five seven or nine so that gives me three possibilities if i wish to start with you there are three cases possible you can on come on fifth floor or seventh floor or the ninth floor uh what are the other points i'm not sure if that is the best Thing to start with yeah you lives on an odd number floor above the floor number four only one person lives between you and the one who likes poha there's only one person between you and poha so let, let's represent that pictorially you dash poha there's only one person between you and poha and they can interchange their positions of course right only one person between you and poha only one person between you and poha yeah v likes neither idli nor maggi so v does not like idli or maggi yeah only three people live between v and p three people between v and p so it's like v dash 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 p only three people live between v and p only three people live between v and p s lives on s lives one of the floors below you s lives on one of the floors below you s should be below you so s should be below you it can be on any floor from one to eight i mean it depends on the floor for you right you know that you can come on fifth floor or seventh floor or ninth floor so if u is on ninth floor s can come on any floor from one to nine right s lives below you so we will use that later then the one who likes samosa lives immediately above the one who likes sandwich but not on the topmost floor so samosa is immediately above sandwich remember that samosa is immediately above sandwich samosa is immediately above sandwich yeah but samosa is not on the topmost floor it cannot come on ninth floor that is for sure yeah the one who likes samosa is immediately above the one who likes sandwich but not on the topmost floor so samosa cannot be on ninth floor it can be on eighth floor or seventh floor or sixth floor and so on but cannot be on ninth floor and of course it cannot be on first floor as well because if samosa is on first floor sandwich would come on zeroth floor which does not exist again 
uh, what else do we know? The number of people living between U and X is same as the number of people living between U and S. Uh, so these kind of statements are important. I remember having solved one such question in the past where this was the final uh, concluding statement, right? Number of people between U and X is same as the number of people between U and S. Yeah. So one thing is clear that U should come between S and X. U will be between S and X, somewhere between S and X. Because he says number of people between U and X is same as the number of people between, again, U and S. Yeah. Uh, X who likes rice lives immediately above the one who likes burger. Okay, X. X likes rice. He lives immediately above the one who likes burger. So this is some information, but again, a lot of possibilities. Not a good starting point. So it says X likes rice and lives immediately above the one who likes burger. Yeah. X who likes rice lives immediately above the one who likes burger. So X is immediately above burger and X likes rice. Only two people live between R and the one who likes Maggie. Between R and Maggie, there are only two people. Is there any statement already with R? No. With Maggie? No. So note it separately, right? Only two people between R and Maggie. So R dash dash Maggie. And these two positions can be interchanged, right? Only two people live between R and Maggie. The one who likes dosa lives immediately above V. Dosa is immediately above V. So if it is V here, immediately above V is dosa. The one who likes dosa is immediately above V. Oh, I, I can put it here, right? V and P. Uh, what was the statement? Only three people live between V and P. Okay. This also has got two possibilities, by the way. Only three people live between U and V and P. Right? Only three people live between V and P. And now it says that uh, the one who uh, only one person lives between, sorry, dosa lives immediately above V. Dosa is immediately above V. Only one person lives between the one who likes samosa and W. Only one person between samosa and W. Okay. Samosa is already there, but samosa and W, there should be only one person between them. Only one person between samosa and W. Okay, so let me just note it separately. Only one person between samosa and W. Samosa dash W and it can again interchange. That's the biggest challenge, right? Each statement has got two possibilities. Only one person lives between Q and the one who likes pizza. So between Q and pizza, again, sorry. Between Q and pizza, one person. I don't have space to note that, yeah? And T does not like dosa. T does not like dosa. Okay. So what do we do? lot of information but what is the best starting point uh, only one uh, I think we can start with you right we know that you lives on an odd number floor what are the you, you lives on an odd number floor above the floor number four so possibilities are five seven nine five seven nine and the other statement for you that we have is you and Poha has got one person between them. So if you is on 9th floor, Poha will be on 7th floor. If you is on 7th floor, Poha can be on 9th floor or 5th floor. If you is on 5th floor, Poha can be on 7th floor or 3rd floor. A lot of possibilities there. S lives on one of the floors below you. Even if one more case is ruled out for you, we can try, right? Three possibilities are too much. Five, seven, nine. You can be five or seven or nine. What can be ruled out? Okay, I think nine can be ruled out. I'll tell you why nine can be ruled out. See, it said, one of the statements, remember, U and X, the number of people between U and X is same as the number of people between U and S. See, when is this possible? Only between U is between X and S. You understand? The number of people, number of number of people between u and s should be same as the number of people between u and x that would be possible only if u is between s and x if u has to be between s and x can you be on the ninth floor no so ninth floor is also ruled out for you right you are able to follow see if you assume that u is on ninth floor s will come on one of the floors below nine x will also come on one of the floors below nine we know that u and x and u and s are equidistant that will be possible only when S and X are living on the same floor, which is not allowed. So that 
eliminates the possibility of ninth floor. So now there are only two possibilities for you. It can be fifth floor or seventh floor. It can be fifth floor or seventh floor. So should we try with that? Let's let's try with that. Hmm? Let's let's try. So I think two possibilities. Uh, Of course, I'm keeping some space to this is gonna be a time consuming one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So you can be either on fifth floor, you was on fifth floor, or you can be on seventh floor. These are two possibilities. You know why ninth floor is eliminated? Because number of floors between U and S and U and X are same. What else is given with respect to so let me do one thing. I'll I'll highlight all the points which have been used so that it's easier for us to follow. So you lives on odd number floor above the floor number four. This is done. Yeah. We've used this already. What are the other points? Only three people live between S and the one who likes Italy. R lives on odd number floor above the one who likes Italy. U and Poha is one statement, but it gives us multiple possibilities. Uh, only three people live between V and P. Only three people live between V and P. S lives on one of the floors below you. S lives on one of the floors below you. Okay. So if let's say S comes here, dash, 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 it will be not possible. Too many possibilities, huh? Uh, what do we do? S lives on one of the floors below you. No, that's not helping. The one who likes samosa lives immediately above the one who likes sandwich. U and X and U and S are equidistant, right? Try that. And one more thing is clear. See, S, we know that S lives on one of the floors below you. Try this. Understand this. S lives on one of the floors below you. If S lives below you, x should be above you yeah x should be above you right s is below you so s should be above you so what are the possibilities s can come here x can go there or s on third floor x on seventh floor right or s on second floor x on eighth floor s on first floor sorry s on first floor s on ninth floor yeah X on ninth floor. Mm. Let me try with this only, right? I'm sure some cases will get eliminated. X we know likes rice. What comes immediately below X is burger. Mm. He does not like dosa. X likes rice, mm. who lives immediately above the one who likes burger. Only one person lives between you and the one who likes poha. Let me, let me uh, try this, I think. I know there are multiple cases, but Poha can either come on. We know that only one person lives between you and Poha, so I'm trying to use this. So Poha can come on seventh floor, or Poha can come on third floor. Right? Remember? It's like Poha, Poha dash. I mean, I'll, I'll put dashes here. Poha dash, Poha dash, because which is the exact position is not known to us. Similarly, Poha can come on ninth floor here in case two, or it can come on fifth floor, case two. Right? Because only one floor is there between you and Poha. Now try to do something. Now try to fit this. We know that S should come above you. S should come above you. Sorry, X should come above you. Why should X come above you? Because S is below you. See, if S is below you, X has to be above you. Now we know that X likes, X likes rice. So going by that, X can come on 8th floor. There is Poha there. You likes burger. X cannot come on 9th floor, right? 
Yeah. Uh, guys, I think there are four cases. We have to try all four. I don't have enough space. What do we do? I'm, I'm, I, I so want to solve this for you, but space is a constraint. You know what are the four cases, right? Poha 7th floor, Poha 3rd floor, Poha 9th floor, Poha 5th floor. So this will give you four different cases. Then you can maybe, then you try to fix X. Because see, if Poha comes on 9th floor, X cannot come on 9th floor. X has to come on 8th floor. The moment you know S is on 8th floor, you can find out the position of S. Because S and X are equidistant from you. The moment you get S, you will know about Idli and a lot of other things there, right? I mean, S and Idli, there are three persons in between and so on. 